Hi, I'm Sam Smith. Uh, I've written a lot in the past and talked a lot about the idea of influence. And as a writer who cares a great deal about, about poetry, I, I read a lot, I have read a lot, and I try to be as aware as I can of the, the authors and the artists whose work has, has exerted an influence on me and, and hopefully made me a, a better writer than I would have been otherwise. Lately, uh, I've been working on what I think is shaping up to be a book. And if the book has a central theme, it's going to be about words and the ways in which words craft reality and shape our reality. And also, very acutely, about the relationship uh, that we have to the words of, of our those who came before, I guess. Uh, those influences, because there are a lot of poems in there which are in one way or another uh, tips of the hat to writers that have been important to me. Today I'd like to read two poems. The first is by William Butler Yeats, uh, the Irish poet of the late 19th and early 20th century. Uh, the particular poem was written by Yeats for the woman he was in love with, Maud Gunn. Uh, he apologized, or apologized. He proposed to Maud four times in his life, and she turned him down all four times. When all was said and done, she didn't want to be married to a poet. She wanted to be married to a warrior. And as a poet uh, in a society that tends to value, uh, I guess, the quarterback of the football team more than it does uh, the poet, I can't help thinking about uh, what that must have been like for a figure who, as influential as he was, um, all of his fame, all of his genius was of no value when it came to securing the love of the woman that he cared about more than everything else. He was at the beach with Maud the first time he proposed, and uh, looking out, he saw white birds uh, in, in the foam, and the image struck him, and he wrote this poem for Maud. So I'll read it first. It's, it's called The White Birds. I would that we were, my beloved, white birds on the foam of the sea. We tire of the flame of the meteor before it can fade and flee, and the flame of the blue star of twilight hung low on the rim of the sky has awakened in our hearts, my beloved, a sadness that may not die. A weariness comes from those dreamers, dew-dabbled the lily and rose, Ah, uh, dream not of them, my beloved, the flame of the meteor that goes, or the flame of the blue star that lingers, hung low in the fall of the dew. For I would we were changed to white birds on the wandering foam, I and you. I am haunted by numberless islands, and many a dawn and shore, where time would surely forget us, and sorrow come near us no more. Soon, far from the rose and the lily, the fret of the flames we would be, were we only white birds, my beloved, buoyed out on the foam of the sea. Last summer, uh, I was sitting outside one evening, relaxing, enjoying the evening, and I looked up. And um, I saw something above the courtyard that made me think that I needed to write it down. And before I was through, I had begun connecting it. Uh, and it turned into this homage to Yeats and, and um, his love for Maud and his inability to, to, as I said before, secure that love. It begins with an epigraph from the previous poem, I am haunted by numberless islands. Walking by the shore at dusk, air leaden with a faith in words. William looks up, says Maud, the sky is full of dragonflies. She stares beyond the sea. That's nice, Bill. But I've a kingdom to burn. Your bugs will be dead by morning. Words are a piper, he says. When we die, our ghosts will haunt the waves, and young men will lift a pint 
to wondering beauty. We're inside out, says Maud. I want to drown Dublin in English blood, and you, so much like a woman with your poetry and your mysteries. I will summon ancient warriors to your heel, then you will love me. Maud stares beyond the rim of the sea. Summon me powder and horses, Bill. His study, quiet as dusk, a candle's nub races the dark to dawn. William sits, vanquished by the sacred rose and the guns of love. That poem and a few others are forthcoming probably this summer in Pemmican, and I'm sure I'll let everybody know when, when it's out. Thanks. See you next time.